ओके फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक एंड वेर वी हैड लेफ्ट आउट इन इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वॉज दैट वी हैड एक्चुअली ऑर्गेनाइज एवरी थिंग ऑलमोस्ट अप एंड वी हैड दिस पेपर एलिमेंट्स ऑल्सो इज विद दिस शेडोज एंड ऑल बट ऑल दीज एलिमेंट्स वर एक्चुअली स्टैक्ट अपॉन ईच अदर विदाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ गैप सो नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट एंड प्रोड्यूस सम गैप एंड गैप अराउंड ऑल ऑफ दीज सो दैट इट लुक्स बेटर सो one thing to notice out here is that i have got, i have this class called mid you can just name it whatever you want i have named it mid and these are actually present in all these paper elements out here whichever ones have these videos okay so i'll just go ahead and give this give this mid 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 class a margin a margin left of like uh, of like kind of 100 pixels and a margin top of like 20 pixels and a margin right of also about 100 pixels and next one thing that we'll go and do is this we'll just add kind of a header a uh, header for these these areas where just below these videos a small heading kind of for those for those also we'll put in put it in paper element so you can actually nest paper elements inside paper material uh, inside these paper material sorry i'll i'll just so put in paper material again okay and i'll just give this a uh, heading i'll just give this actually a h2 tag so it's actually smaller in size and just given any heading like polymer tutorials and i'll also give this italics or maybe just i'll put the text in the italics so i'll just put the text in italics and i'll copy paste some random text from lorem ipsum site so this is basically just place holder text okay just copy paste basically this is quite a long text I'll just scroll back to the position and let's see what this part looks like and let's see what this looks like okay so actually we did something wrong we actually hash paper material Okay, let me just go ahead and refresh. Okay, now once we have refreshed, we see that that this whole thing has a border ar around itself, or actually a margin, and all these have actually some kind of a gap between them. Okay, so I'll just copy paste all this in different places also. and i'll just put the heading put the heading in the center so i'll just give the heading a text align of center okay so actually you can see that this h1 tag out here has a has a heading class and it writes like my youtube videos and i'll just caps lock everything up So now once we go into the browser just let everything reload once ओके 
okay so there was typing mistake out here and okay so once we refresh now we'll see that we have this cool looking block type effect or if you can use this actually in your blocks quite is e easily and it's quite kind of quite prevalent to use this kind of layout in your blogs and other websites i have seen so this is how you can do it very easily with polymer and without writing much css or html at all so that is that is it for this uh, for this tutorial guys and subscribe to the channel and definitely thank you for watching my tutorials and thank bye